good morning everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Thursday the 5th of November and I just want to start off by saying a huge thank you to everybody who um, made angel donations and purchased the uh, Beekeepers Handbook Digi Download yesterday when we launched it. So thank you so much, it's greatly appreciated. All your support for my YouTube channel and the website is greatly appreciated. So it's the 5th of November, which here in the UK means it's uh, Bonfire Night or Guy Fawkes Day, which is a celebration of the foiling of the gunpowder plot in 1605. I know we've got very long memories. Um, yeah, so it's the gunpowder plot was a plot um, to blow up the Houses of Parliament, which was foiled. Um, predominantly, the guy that gets blamed for it mostly is a chap called Guy Fawkes, um, and it's a celebration of the foiling of that plot. But anyway, um, so traditionally on Guy Fawkes Day or Bonfire Night, we light bonfires, as the name suggests, stand around watching the fire and set fireworks off and possibly put baked potatoes into the embers um, and maybe have a few drinks. But traditionally, that's what we do to celebrate in remembrance of the gunpowder plot. Um, but obviously we won't be doing that this year. Nobody will be doing that this year. So we'll be staying at home and watching the fireworks through the window. Um, but also Thursday is traditionally shopping day for me and mum. But again, we won't be doing that today either. Um, Mum's going to be staying at home, sheltering, so I'm going to go and do her shopping for her. I've got a shopping list, do all the shopping, and I'm going to drop the shopping off at their house, and then I'm coming home. I'm not doing any shopping today because I did all mine yesterday. So that's the plan for this morning, at least. Uh, this afternoon, I've got some filming to do for the mission inspiration for November, which goes live on Saturday. So I'm going to be a busy boy today. So that's all the shopping done. Time to deliver now. The best part about living in a house with somebody who bakes is when you walk into the kitchen unexpectedly and see this. What are you making, Ian? Making Florentines. Making? Florentines. Florentines? So basically Florentines are sulfur, uh, plain flour, mm -hmm. brown sugar. Hang on, let me just do this up. Brown sugar. Mm -hmm. Plain flour. Plain flour. <laughs> mm. Golden syrup. Golden syrup, okay. Flaked almonds. Yes. Chopped pecans. Are they pecans those? Yeah, chopped pecans. Pecans, yes. Yeah. Unsalted butter and a copiously large amounts of glass of cherries. <laughs> Which are my favourites. They are. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put the sugar, mm -hmm. the golden syrup, yes. and the butter in the pan. Yes. Mix it up till it all dissolves. So basically, stir it round and it should go clay, it should go non-gritty so the, sh the sugar disappears right. into the butter. I was going to say, when you say dissolve, there's no, so there's no grittiness. You mean it melts? Yes, there's no grittiness at all, so it's like a smooth liquid. Okay. And then I pour in the flour, yeah. the nuts, give that a mix up. The nuts. And then they're going last. They're going, the, the glass air cherry is going last. last. Yeah. And I have a cunning new piece of kit. It's an ice cream scoop. But look how thin it is. <laughs> look. What, what is it, an inch and a half? Uh, about an inch. Inch and a half, yeah, about an inch and a half. About an inch and a half. So I'll take them out and pop them on the trays. The already pre-greased baking trays. And some square ones. Oh, we're doing square. As well. Well, right. Joanne next door likes the square ones. They're, <laughs> a, they're a mum's favourite, so Florentines. Right, okay. So I'm making, so I've done double amounts. Yeah. This makes 36. So you get good value for money. Absolutely. So I'm just going to do this. So I'll okay. See back in a minute. All right. So we'll 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 come back when you're taking them out of the oven. Oh yeah. There we go. 
And what was it? 12 minutes later? 8 minutes eight later? 8 minutes later. There you are. We've got a cool. We've got 12. Uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 15 17, 18, 19. Mm -hmm. You're supposed to get 36 out of this batch. <laughs> I think they're a little bit bigger than what they're supposed to be. That one hasn't gone far, has it? No. It's because it's got the cherries in it. <laughs> smell lovely though. They do smell They're absolutely. not expensive to make either, are they? No, they're not. I'm now making from my mum's cookery book from 19... 1937. 1937, some rock buns. Fantastic, and I can't wait to see those come out the oven either. Me neither. Mm. So the 1937 recipe comes out. The raisins have all puffed they have up. All, they have all puffed up, haven't they? So these are the rock buns, or what they were, as they were called when I was growing up, rock cakes. Rock cakes. Yes. So. Yeah, oh. they're, they're done. Right noise. Right yeah. noise. Well, they look nice. They do. Very golden brown. Are we ready to venture out into the cold, dark, damp and fog? Yes, I think we are, Daddy. You're very dark in this picture at the minute. Am I? Yes. <laughs> Hang on, let the bit light. Oh, there. There we go. <laughs> are you ready, Mr. Bentley Booze? He's not sure. Let's be off. Come on. So it's Friday morning and as you can see, the night after bonfire night has turned rather foggy. It's probably got to do with all the smoke from the fireworks and that kind of stuff that's affected the weather it usually is foggy the day after bonfire night for some strange reason isn't it it is it's probably the local shops that they set fire to <laughs> not, <coughs> not not um so this morning we're just venturing out uh, down to the post office to do website orders so we're going to get those off in the post today and then we're just going to carry on and take Mr Bentley out for a little WALK, stretch our legs and try and get a bit of fresh air. Because we're in <clears throat> lockdown situation again, we have to try and limit the amount of visits out of the house so we're combining. Instead of doing a trip to the post office now and then a WALK later, we're doing it all at once. <clears throat> So not busy in the post office, I think we managed to get out early enough because it's only just gone nine o'clock and I'd forgotten that my old glasses were had those reactor light lenses so it looks like I'm wearing sunglasses. <laughs> <laughs> so there's nothing spookier than a churchyard and a graveyard in fog. Well, apart from being at night, of course. Good morning, everyone. It's Monday, the 9th of November. Uh, I'm sitting at the kitchen table. I'm doing some um, sewing for Ian. He's got some journals um, that he has to make, or he's been commissioned to make, so I'm helping him this morning by um, doing all the stitching and sewing in all the signatures. So I'm just um, punching out and doing all the, the, the pricking um, so I can do the stitching into the spines this morning. Um, it's been a fairly interesting and busy weekend. Um, it was 
Remembrance Sunday yesterday. Um, unfortunately, because of lockdown, we were unable to uh, go out um, to our local um, cenotaph. Um, they weren't allowing people to, or they weren't allowing people to go. Um, as they were doing across the country um, in remembrance, obviously. So we stayed at home and marked our respect at the appropriate time with the two minute silence. Um, but of course, the other thing that happened this weekend was the presidential elections. So that was interesting, watching all that go off. Um, my own personal opinion on that, I think the media called it way, way too early. Um, and in my own opinion, I think the media, it shouldn't be the media that calls it. They shouldn't be allowed to do it. So I do think it was called far, far too early. Uh, I appreciate, you know, people get excited and people want certain candidates to win or certain candidates to lose and all the rest of it. But I think, you know, we shouldn't get ahead of ourselves. Let due process and the rule of law, that's what it's there for, um, be the ones to determine, not media companies such as Sky and CNN and in, this, in our instance, the BBC, who really jumped in there quickly. Um, so, mm, not very good. But anyway, um, like I said, this morning I'm going to be um, finishing off doing all this stitching. There are four journals that I've got to stitch today, so it's going to be kind of a busy day today. So... Today is Tuesday the 10th of November. And what day is it today, Ian? It's my birthday today. Is it happy birthday, Ian? Thank you. Are you doing anything special today? Yes, I'm going to the dentist. I'm really looking forward to it. <laughs> and why are you going to the dentist? Because I've lost a filling. And it hurts? It hurts, but I have treatment for afterwards. <laughs> I think it's counterproductive, but it'll keep them going, won't it? It'll keep who going? The dentist. <laughs> It's a great way to spend your birthday, having to go to the dentist for an emergency filling. Okay, back from the... <laughs> oh. Hello, you. What? Oh, I think you smell the birthday cake, Gary. Can, can he? Yes. Uh, well, more on that in a little while. Anyway. Yes. Been to the dentist, lost no fillings, have a bit of inflammation, apparently I brushed too hard. Had a 360 degree scan done of my mouth. Gosh, that looks weird. And she won't let me have a copy either. Um, so, all good, lost no fillings, perfect. Just a few tablets and it'll be gone. Excellent. So, where have we been? We've been to the Marks and the Spencers to get the birthday cake. Or another birthday cake. Yes. It's not open yet, but it's a massive chocolate birthday cake. Extremely chocolatey party cake. I think somebody's after that. I think we... Hey, hey, you. Okay. Absolutely. Have you started already? Not sure whether the correct answer is yes or no. <laughs> okay. Go on then. Mm, looks nice. Happy birthday to, to me. You. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to me. Happy birthday, dear Ian. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to me. It's a big cake. It is a big cake. A big oh. cake. Big cake for a big personality. A fat lad. <laughs> there we are. Thank you. Yummy. So it's now 3.30 and the sun's starting to get ready to drop below the horizon. It gets so um, dark so early now. So definitely the year is drawing in. So we're just taking Mr Bentley out for his WALK. A little early afternoon, well, late afternoon promenade. So it's a bit cold, hence the scarf. But we're braving it, aren't we? We're braving it, we're very brave. It 
it's Wednesday the 11th last day of the vlog so um, yes Ian's birthday was yesterday which is why there was no steampunk Tuesday video yesterday because I allowed him to have the day off so one day a year where he's allowed not to work and that's his birthday I do even make him work on Christmas Day trust me mm -mm. Um, so yes so as we're drawing the week to a close I mentioned last week that I had um, some stencil designs that I'd had or was having prototyped well, they've come back, so and I'm happy to say that all but one of them are cool, are good, but I'm not going to be releasing all of them all at once. Um, I've actually got about 20 odd designs that I've done. I haven't had them all prototyped, I've only had the first six prototyped. Um, so I'm going to release two of those um, now. So they'll be going on the website. If you're watching this, they're available on the website now. Um, first one is called Chicken Shed. Shed, that was. S-H-E-D, shed, as in a place in the garden, honestly. Chicken shed, so it's kind of like a chain link, um, chicken wirey kind of stencil. I've been wanting to do a design like that for ages and ages, just never really got time to sit down and do it until now. And the other one that I'm going to be releasing is called Wonky Chain. And what I like about this one is the fact that it's got the stars in there as well. So it could also be used for festive projects, possibly, if you're feeling that way inclined. So that's Wonky Chain and Chicken Shed. Shed. Let's just make sure we get that right. Um, so like I said, they're on the website now. So um, that's it for this week, I'm afraid. Um, it's Like I said, it's been one of those funny weeks where because we've had lockdown, we've not really been going anywhere. I've been doing mum's shopping, which is why you've not seen her, um, but she is fine, everybody's fine, dad's fine, mum's fine, we're all fine. Uh, Mr Bentley's fine too, as you've seen. He's actually snoozing on the bed because he's just got back from his dully way, okay. Um, so that's it for me for this week. I just want to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you, these videos definitely wouldn't be possible. Um, the website and your angel donations are the only things that are actually keeping the lights on at the moment. So, because there is no other work and no other money coming in whatsoever. Like I said, YouTube still aren't paying out on um, the revenue adverts, almost non-existent. Hopefully that will settle down now that the election is sort of over. You know, only time will tell on that one. Um, so hopefully that the advertising will pick up. Fingers crossed on that one. So yes, we're still in lockdown. It's just one of those things. So there you go. Um, that's all from me for now. I will see you all again in the next video. Bye for now. <laughs>